Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. And welcome back to more of Watch Dogs 2. This is Hill. And we are here at the beach to meet Ray. In our last story arc, Horatio was murdered by the Tezcas, and Marcus took revenge on them. We would hope that things would become more serious and perhaps a little darker, but I'm not sure that's going to be the case here in Watch Dogs 2. It's all about jokes and more jokes and ha ha he he. But anyhow, here we are at the beach. Let's say it's a few days later. It's a main mission, hack the world. Let's go ahead and get started. Wait for it. Wait for what? Well, I was hoping for some kind of dramatic reveal, but my time is... It's a Galilei rocket, so what? Yeah, well, that there Galilei rocket is number four. And the satellites they're carrying? All blue. Oh, shit. Yeah. It's just got interesting. Mm -hmm. Those satellites are putting a lot of data out of our reach. This is next level shit, my friend. You've been waiting for your chance to hit Bloom. Oh, well, yeah, now we can hit him fucking hard. Could think about putting a little something something on the next satellite launch and piggybacking into orbit? Uh huh. You a crazy motherfucker, man. I'm out of this world, baby. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> you drive. Yeah. Right, we are dropping Ray off at the hacker space. Let's see if we can. Hey, Marcus, slow down, man. Oh You're my goodness, me. I'm not even. I'm not even running. Come on. I get. I guess I'm gonna have to walk and take small steps, so this guy can keep up. Oh boy, which car do we take? Well, what do you think? I think this one looks a little faster. We'll go ahead with this. Alright, we'll turn off the music to avoid copyright strikes. Even though I like to listen to it. Alright, we are going to head to the uh, hacker space. I guess this is a new hacker space on this part of town, outside of Los Angeles. Drop me off at the hacker space. I'll look through our intel on Galilee and talk you through the building. If this works, we'll have a Martian's eye view of Bloom's server farm and all the sweet, juicy data contained therein. A big company like Bloom must have server farms across the country. Well, with any luck, we'll key into one farm and use it to find the others. We've been trying so long to keep up with Silicon Valley, I want DedSec to be on the same playing field. For everything we've done, we still don't know exactly what Dushan's up to. You think we'll find dick pics? Have you been listening in on our convo, Satara? If we get a hold of a Dushan dick pic, we have the ultimate leverage. Yeah, especially if it's small or warty. <laughs> Guys. And knowing him, his dick probably has its own fucking man bun on it. Dude. <laughs> Hipster dick. I like, I like. Hi, I'm Hipster Dick. I only wear skinny condoms. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't circumcised before it was cool. <laughs> oh, I'm surrounded by children. Really? <laughs> yeah, all right, see, all they, right, they guys. think this is that, funny. That's enough. We've upset Pops over here. Mm, it's not just Pops. But, see, this is the kind of thing. The last mission, they lost one of their own. You know... And this is what we get in the in the next mission. It's like nothing ever happened. We've got these ridiculously juvenile jokes that aren't funny. 
I mean, it, it's almost offensive. The, the writing. I'm sorry, Ubisoft. I'm going there. It, it's almost offensive what you guys did with the story. Come on. These guys, they, they, they could have matured. You call matured. when you get to Galilee. They'll have a satellite waiting for you. Me and one of your magic clipper chips. Magic, yes. Clipper chip? Go fuck yourself. Ever think you'd make it this far? Honestly, I never thought this far was possible. Yeah, I thought we would be able to sit back and just show up at this new hacker space, but they wanted to continue to talk. You know, perhaps I could have cut all that stuff out, but I think it's important that, you know, people see this game for what it is, and you guys might enjoy it. I mean, you guys might think this stuff is funny. All right. If you want to call this a mission, it is complete. Meet somebody on the beach and drive to another location. Wait for it. Ray, man, I gotta tell you, I used to be a sucker for rockets. They were my jam growing up. Don't get too excited, Pee-wee. I've heard of the measures Galilee goes to to protect their intellectual property, hmm? One wrong move and you'll be in a whole world of trouble. We've been in a world of trouble for a while now. So break down what I gotta do at Galilee. Hold on to your habaneros. I'm downloading a schematic of the building. Just let hey, me know you? when you get there. How's it going? Yo, Marcus. Oh, hey. Want me to sing you a driving song? Yeah. Oh, well, I do have a radio, Coffee Ranch. Sometime? Thanks anyway. Yo, Tebow. Want me to sing you a hacking song? Drive faster, Marcus. <laughs> Drive faster. So, this is the um, location that we dropped T-Bone off. And can I even go inside? I don't think... Okay, I can. Yeah, we're going to go inside. I'm not rushing off anywhere right now. Harbor authorities chased yet another unlicensed craft back into international waters. So far, there are no details on where the craft originated from. Incidents of illegal vessels venturing into U.S. waters has been increasing. Speculation is that corporate spies are attempting to target the secrets of tech companies concentrated in Silicon Valley. So here we are, another dead sec location with all the amenities, the, the sleeping, the, the change of clothes. I think I'm going to keep this outfit on for right now. I think there should be a 3D printer in here somewhere. Yeah, there it is, right ahead. And, you know, we've got different DeadSec members here. All right, well, we are going to stop here at this juncture of the uh, Hack the World mission because I believe this uh, is going to stretch on into many different parts. So we will continue in our next episode. And this is Hill and I'm out! <laughs>